Welcome back to my channel and Kindle Kids Learning. You've got to get up every morning with determination if you are going to go to bed with satisfaction. With this inspirational quote, myself Nandita De Souza, presenting you the second part of our lesson MS Paint, that is working with paint tools. Let's move on to the introduction. The tools group has many tools that have different functions. In MS Paint, we have tools group which looks like this. This tools group has many tools with different functions. These tools help us in making drawings. To use any tool, simply click on the tool, it will be selected. Suppose I want pencil tool, I will have to click on pencil. Suppose I want magnifier tool, I will have to click on this magnifier. If I want text tool, yes, I have to click on the text. And if I want fill with color tool, I have to click on this bucket. And if I want to erase something, then I have to click on this eraser and if I want to pick some color then I have to click on this picker tool. So which are the tools in MS Paint? We have pencil tool, eraser tool, color picker tool, magnifier tool, text tool and fill with color tool. Now Let's study these tools in detail one by one. The first tool we'll be studying is pencil tool. Pencil tool looks like this. The pencil tool works like a real pencil. It is used to draw both straight and curved lines. You all have a pencil with you, isn't it? What you can do using the pencil, you can write, you can draw, you can draw a straight line as well as you can draw a curved line, you can draw a circle, you can draw many things using pencil tool. Now we'll see how to use this pencil tool step by step. First click on the pencil tool, click on the size button to select the line thickness. Select a color from the colors box, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse around to draw. Now I'll show you how to use this tool. First click on the pencil tool, then click on the size button to select the line thickness. This is the thinnest, this is the thickest. Whichever line you want you can select. Select a color from the color box. This is the colors box. Let me select green color. Hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse around to draw. Now if I want to draw I will just hold the left mouse button and start drawing. The second tool is the eraser tool. Eraser tool looks like a eraser. We all have a eraser with us, right? Yes. Normally when I draw, we do some mistakes here and there. So what we do? Yes, we use the eraser to erase those mistakes. Similarly in MS Paint, when you draw and when you make some silly mistakes, you take the eraser and erase those mistakes. How to use this eraser tool? Click on the eraser tool. Click on the size button to select the eraser size. Press left mouse button and move the eraser over the area of the picture that you want to erase. Now let's see 
how this eraser tool works. Click on the eraser. Then click on the size button to select the eraser size. Suppose I want big eraser. Then press left button of mouse and move the eraser over the area of the picture that you want to erase. Suppose I want to erase this line. I have to press the left button of mouse and move the eraser over the area which I want to erase. So this is how we use the eraser tool. Our next tool is fill with color tool. Fill with color tool is noted by a bucket filled with color. The fill with color tool is used to fill a selected color in any closed shape object. In this, the bucket is already filled with red color. We can color the particular object or shape which is closed using this bucket. So what are the steps how to use it? First, click on the fill with color tool. Then select the color from the colors box and click inside the shape to fill the color. Now let's see how does it work. First click on the fill with color tool. Then select the color from the colors box and click inside the shape to fill the color. I want to fill this area. So I will have to click on that and the entire shape is filled with the selected color. When you use this fill with color tool, make sure you drop the color only on the closed objects. Otherwise, the color fills all over the canvas. If it happens, click undo button from quick access toolbar to cancel it. Now this was the closed object whereas here the stem I have kept it open. Now if I pick the brown color and try to drop what happens? Yes, the color spreads all over the canvas, isn't it? So to go back to my previous screen, what should I do? Move on to the quick access toolbar and click on undo button. Our next tool is color picker tool. Color picker tool is denoted by a Picker symbol. The color picker tool is used to copy a similar color from one part of the drawing to another. Suppose I want to use this color into my drawing. What will I do? I will select the color picker tool and click on this color. When I click on this color, this particular picker will be filled with this blue color and I can use this color in my Drawing. What are the steps to be followed to work on color picker tool? First, click on the color picker tool. Then, click on the colored part from where you want to copy the color. Now, the color is selected. Let me show you how it works. Now, I want to color this part of the tree with the same color. So what will I have to do? I have to click on the color picker tool. Then click on the colored part from where you want to copy the color. I want to copy the color from this tree. So I will click on this color. When I click on this color, I will get the paint bucket. Now the paint bucket is filled with the selected color can drop it on the desired object where you want to color it. 
Our next tool is text tool. It is denoted by the symbol. The text tool is used to type text on the drawing area. If I want to write the name on my house which I have drawn, I will have to click on this text tool then type my text on the drawing area. Have to use it first click on the text tool then click on the drawing area where you want to place the text and type the text. So let's see how it works. To use the text tool first you will have to click on the text tool then Click on the drawing area where you want to place the tool. I want to place my tool here. Once I've placed my tool, I can type the desired text. You can select any color to type the text. And the last tool is magnifier tool. This is denoted by a magnifier lens symbol. The magnifier tool is used to enlarge or magnify any part of the drawing. Using this tool, I can enlarge any particular part of the drawing which is not clearly visible to me. How does this work? First, Click on the magnifier tool, then move the mouse pointer in the drawing area, place the rectangular box and click in the area that needs to be magnified. Let me show you clearly how to use this magnifier tool. To use the magnifier tool, click on the magnifier Move the mouse pointer in the drawing area. You can see a rectangular box now. Yes. Click on the area that needs to be magnified. Suppose I want to magnify this area. I will click here. You can see. Yes, you can see the edges here clearly, isn't it? So this is about magnifier tool. So my dear students, once after completing your drawing you must save it so how to save it first click on the file when you click on the file a drop down menu will appear in this drop down menu you can see a save as option click on the save as option when you click on the save as option a separate dialog box will appear here you will have to first enter the file name and click on the jpeg format after selecting this format click on the save button your drawing gets saved by the name you have typed here i have typed the name new file so my drawing will be saved under the name new file My dear students, I hope you have clearly understood this particular lesson working with paint tools. For further videos, subscribe to my channel and Kindle Kids Learning. See you in my next video. Till then, take care, stay home, stay safe. Let me wind up this video by teaching you one good habit. Greet your elders. Thank you.